Hey everyone, I'm Noah and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. Some of the very first games I've made with Unity were 3D top-down shooters. The enemies in these games all had the same basic artificial behaviour, chase after the player. Achieving this was rendered very easy thanks to Unity's built-in navmesh agent components, tutorial topic for another day, but there wasn't and still isn't such a component for 2D. Thankfully, achieving such a behaviour in 2D is very simple. In just a few simple lines of code, you'll end up with an enemy that frantically chases after the player character in a 2D space. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So I have a new Unity project opened up, and in it, two simple looking squares that will act as our prototype characters. So I have a blue player that can move around the scene, and this for now static red enemy. I'll now make a brand new c -sharp script called enemy follow, and open it up inside of my scripting editor. I'll begin by making two variables, one public of type float called speed. As the name implies, we will be using this variable to tweak how fast our enemy runs after the player. And I'll also make a private variable of type transform called target. You guessed it, this variable will hold the game object our enemy is chasing after. In my start method, I will make the target variable equal to the game object that has a tag called player, and more precisely, the transform information of that object. Back in Unity, I will make sure my player character has the player tag on it. This way, the enemy will find his target. Lastly, I'll make an update function and inside of it, type the following easy line of code. Basically, what this does is move the enemy character from his position towards the target's position at a certain speed. Time.delta time is used to make sure that faster, more performance computers don't have an enemy running a lot faster than enemies on a slower computer. So to recap, put whatever position you wish to move before the equal sign, then type in vector2.move towards, and inside the parentheses, state where you want to move from and to, and of course, at what speed. Let's now put our enemy follow script onto our red enemy square, and put in a value of 10 for speed. If we now press play, you'll notice that our enemy is moving towards the player. Awesome! We've put in place the solid base for a fun 2D enemy character. One quirk you may notice, however, is the fact that our enemy will go exactly at the player's position and cover him up. Let's say we wanted our enemy to stop moving towards the player when he gets at a certain close distance. Doing so is very easy. All we need to do is add an if statement and check how close our enemy is to the player. We can achieve this by using vector2.distance. Inside the parentheses, we'll ask to check the distance between the enemy and his target. In other words, the player. And if that distance is greater than, say, 3, then the enemy is allowed to continue moving towards the player. Obviously, if the distance is smaller than 3, the crucial line of code will not run, and as a result, the enemy will stop moving towards his target. Let's hit play inside of Unity and make sure everything is working. And you'll see that indeed, when our enemy is close by, he'll stop. If I then move my player away, the enemy will resume chasing him, because the distance separating the pair is greater than 3. Of course, if you want more flexibility over the stopping distance, 
Just make a public floats variable called stopping distance and replace this three value with the stopping distance variable. Now directly in our inspector, we have full control over the enemy's stopping distance. Setting the value, for example, to seven, will have the enemy stop very far away from his target. And that is all I had to show you for this beginner level AI tutorial with Unity and C Sharp. Obviously, you can use this script for many types of games. I myself am currently developing a game called The Fire of Belief, a 2D top-down shooter that features a pack of various enemies, hungrily chasing after the player characters. Definitely check out my devlog on this project if you are interested in seeing my progress, thought process, difficulties and more while making a game from scratch. With that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll definitely be making more AI tutorials in the future. Of course, if you have a request, post away in the comment section down below and I'll seriously consider making a video on it. Alright, take care, stay tuned, cheers!